you know, cubes have pretty much no street value to your average person. March of 2020 was a very interesting month for just about everybody in the world. Uh, but for me, it's just a little bit more interesting than your average person's. So it all started with me waking up to a phone call from one of my team members, Daniel. Now, if you know me, you know I hate bad news in the morning. I, I usually work late and I just hate nothing more than waking up to some bad news. And um, Daniel calls me and asks me, hey, what did you do with all of the iPads? Well, it didn't take me too long to piece together in my kind of groggy morning state that something was probably terribly wrong. So I tell him I didn't touch them, look for them, maybe somebody moved them because this was coming in. Um, I think I was like on, on a Monday morning, if I recall correctly, I don't remember the exact day of the week it was, but it was feasible at that time to think that somebody might have reorganized and put them somewhere else. So I'm getting dressed and I think I'm out the door in literally two minutes and I'm calling just about every single person that would possibly have anything to do with like that side of things. And I'm thinking like, you know, maybe Carlos borrowed them for something and we're calling, like I said, just about everybody. And I'm like, hey, did you borrow the iPads? You know, like you're not in trouble, but we, we just need to know if you use them because we don't see them. So by the time I get to the office, Daniel had done some more researching and we had found out that not only were we missing the iPads, we were missing some speakers, barcode scanners, laptops, charging docks, cables, just like random tech stuff that you would imagine to find on the warehouse side of our building. So we're looking through the office, I pull the security camera footage and we see that about 1130 the night before, someone had broken in through our warehouse and unfortunately we couldn't have made it any easier for him because he walked right over to a USPS um, bin full of packages, dumped them out and um, just went right in and just kind of scooped up whatever he wanted. And the only good thing about it was that when he was moving his way through our warehouse, he went into like our management sort of office and we have like primarily desktop computers in there. And so he just kind of, he, he was on bike. So he ended up giving up pretty easily and just took what he could get. Now, had he moved one door more, <laughs> uh, towards the right, it would have been a haven of just laptops and everything else for him. So I'm extremely thankful that it wasn't quite that bad. Um, we estimate that he ended up getting somewhere around the neighborhood of $6,000 worth of stuff, which is definitely unfortunate and not something that I was wanting to be dealing with, especially at that point in time with all of the stress that was going on. Um, and so, you know, we call Bakersfield, the police department, and they get over there like within half an hour, they're taking statements or showing them all the security camera footage. And um, as we're watching the footage back, I think that honestly, I just started laughing out loud when we saw this clip because it was just like a scene out of the movie from The Grinch Stole Christmas, the, the old like cartoon animated one. As he was exiting our warehouse door, he was nice enough to turn off all the lights just to make sure the, you know, there was, I guess, no suspicion from any of the other neighbors and he'd get a clean getaway. And the door was just about to shut when all of a sudden it kind of opens up again. And with our warehouse door, this is the door right here. We have like a rack of shelves right here facing it. And he stuck his arm in and we have like a bunch of like little keychain cubes specifically in that area. And he plucked one keychain cube and just exited out as the door closed behind him. And it was just like that scene out of the movie where the cringe goes up the, the, the fireplace the chimney and he goes right back down and grabs the little crumb from the mouse after he's done raiding the house. So um, I, I had sort of thought that, you know, we were kind of done for and we never would catch the guy. And I mean, honestly, when you get robbed, it was my first time actually being robbed like this, but you almost don't even want the stuff back, if that makes sense. Because when enough time passes, this was just like a random transient guy we found out and, and you don't really know what they're doing with it or whatever. And so, um, I was just kind of like more so when they got to get brought to justice and we had a whole detective on the case. Ironically, the detective who was on the case attended our summer open um, 2019 event. And um, so it, it was pretty funny that his kid was a cuber and he was helping us out with the case. So he definitely was trying to do what he could to help. And um, nothing really turned up initially. A few months went by. They got fingerprints and everything though. So that was good. So we had a case of like who we thought it was. And um, because the guy was homeless, there 
really wasn't a way to go back and trace to find out where he was. But after about six months of not hearing anything, I get a random call from the detective saying, hey, I think that we have a lead. Um, we pick this guy up and I'll keep you posted. Another few weeks go by without hearing anything. And I get a call saying that I could appear in court to testify against this guy. So I didn't end up going, um, but it, it was pretty good to know the guy actually did, did end up getting brought to justice. And I guess he was caught robbing a whole nother business um, somewhere in the area. So definitely unfortunate that, you know, um, during that time, other people were getting hit with this kind of stuff. But, you know, even though we lost somewhere in the neighborhood, like I said, of about $6,000 worth of stuff, it could have been a whole lot worse. And luckily nobody was there and got hurt. But definitely was a very unique experience because I, you could see when he, when he broke into our building that he's just looking around at all of the racks. Like, what did I just break into? Because, you know, cubes have pretty much no street value to your average person. So I guess you just, you know, the old saying rings true that uh, justice um, always prevails or whatever it is. But uh, all I know is I'm, I'm very happy it wasn't as bad as what it could have been since then we've taken even more security precautions and um, I don't think that we'll be, be messed with anytime soon. So that's the time that uh, our cube store got robbed.